Einen wunderschönen guten Abend hier im Jovel, heute Abend hier im Club. Dankeschön, dass ihr alle gekommen seid. Zu dieser Weltpremiere heute Abend einer ganz neuen All-Star-Band. Ich freue mich riesig, dass Sie heute Abend gekommen sind. Hier sind Ivy Gold. Habt ihr Lust auf Rock? Alles klar, jetzt geht's los. Viel Spaß. Good evening, it's great to be here in Münster. 
Thank you for coming out. I know it's been a really, really hard time for everybody the last year and a half, right? We had to, you know, stay at home and lockdown and all of that stuff. But now we're, you know, we're here on stage with this great band. We are a new, completely new blues rock band. And tonight we are recording a live DVD. You saw the cameras and everything, right? So just for you to know, so in case you're wondering why the hell is she speaking in English, I know how to speak German, right? <laughs> no, it's because, um, you know, we're doing the DVD, so um, the people around the world um, can actually understand my announcements um, in the future. That's why I do speak in German, uh, in English. I hope that's okay for you. <laughs> All right. So you're going to be on a live DVD. Are you ready for some fun? Yeah, okay, then we'll get it on.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. You know what I really love? Did you are all the way, that you came all the way up to the stage. I see a few more people in the back there. Come on up towards the stage. I need you up front here so we can connect with each other. Yeah, right. That's what music is for, right? Right? Didn't we just miss that? Just hanging out with uh, like-minded people and enjoying ourselves with good live music. That's what we need, right, for our hearts and souls. Good music. You're the sweetest audience, I can already tell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what, Anders, I need to ask you a question that I always had in my mind. On your solo that you're playing there, I just, it's so freaking cool. What are you doing there? Is that like a, what scale are you playing? It's, you don't, he doesn't know, right? It, it's so cool. Isn't he just great? Anders Olin, my ladies and 
and gentlemen, you know what? He's played with so many amazing musicians. You know Glenn Hughes? Yeah, the voice of rock, he's played with Glenn Hughes. Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm so happy to have him on board with, with us. <laughs> All right, we'll slow it down a little bit for you. It's a nice bluesy little tune. Maybe it's a love song. You can hug yourself and your neighbors and yeah. Right? It's without you. <laughs>
Tal needs a microphone back there. He 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 always he he always got some like some silly things to talk about, you know, jokes and I don't know. Schnitzel boy, yeah. He we had this running gag amongst us because ever since he got here from LA, right? I think on Thursday we picked him up. He's been eating schnitzel every single day. So he's schnitzel boy. So funny. All right, we have a. What? No. You want to start? Go ahead. Go ahead.
officially introduce you to
der Schnitzelboy on the drums. Amazing, just amazing, right? Like, how does he do that? I don't know. Schnitzel, he eats the schnitzel all the time. Yeah, that's the power. Yeah, yeah. At least I had some time to change my clothes, right? Because I was, I was a little hot. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll do our title track of our debut album called Six Dusty Winds. And uh, yeah, none of this was actually planned, right? The whole project, the band and everything. Everything happened kind of like by coincidence because Sebastian and I, we were writing a few songs and started recording a demo and stuff and sent it over to Tal to Los Angeles and he liked it. And from then on, you know, the whole thing kind of just, I don't know, happened. So we had some crazy months, uh, you know, preparing everything. And so now we have our debut album out and we're so happy to be able to finally get back on stage. So this is Six Dusty Winds.
Dankeschön. Es war Six Dusty Wins. I want to take you a little over to California, I guess, because the next song is called Shine On, and I think I wrote it uh, when I was actually over in, in, uh, on the West Coast. I do travel a lot, and uh, I did live in Los Angeles also for a couple of months and in the U.S. for five years, and for some reason, whenever I do this song, Shine On, I think of the beaches of... Venice Beach, Malibu Beach, you know, the nice area where he lives at. So let's do Shine On and, you know, if you feel like dancing a little bit and, you know, moving and stuff, feel free to do so. Shine On.
I want to dedicate this next song to all the women out there. <laughs> you know why? Because this one is called Suspicion. And right, we women just have that gut feeling, that female intuition, right? We just know when something is up in the air and something. No, 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 no. No, trust your feeling, trust your gut feeling. Suspicion. Officially introduce my band to you. My boys, Mr. Anders Olena on the keyboards. Give it up for Anders Olena. <laughs> on the guitar, Sebastian Ida. <laughs> Ty Bergman on the drums. Mr. Kevin Moore on the bass guitar! Don't we have an awesome groove? 
connection here, right? Both of them are from the from, from US. He's from New York. So, uh, what? The lonely voice of Miss Mommy. Oh! Miss <laughs> Mommy. I like that accent. It's so cute. Before we leave tonight, we wanted to do 
another song for you. It's called Retribution, and it really expresses my, uh, my feelings regarding the worlds that we live in right now. Um, when I wrote this song, I, you know, this whole pandemic and everything was far, far away. But I must have felt something is coming up, I don't know. <clears throat> um, but I still do believe we'll be fine in the end. Retribution. Domination 
wonderful. I'm gonna miss you already, I can tell, I can tell. Thank you so much. A big, big thank you to Guinea for inviting us because without you, we wouldn't have been here tonight, right? Thank you, Guinea. Thank you, Marvin, for inviting us to come to Minster to the Yogel Club. It has been great. What a great, great venue this is here. Man, I'm so thankful. A big, big thank you to my band for supporting me, because without them, It'd be hard for me here as well. We have a little merch stand over there, so if you want to come over there and have a little chat, I'd like to meet you, hang out a little bit. I want to give a big thank you to Knut, our sound guy. Thank you for the great sound. Thank you, Falk, for helping us the last couple of days. Thank you, Valeria, for taking some pictures. And thank you to our awesome, awesome film team from Kenton Film. You have done a great job. Thank you so much. Everybody stay safe. And we hope to see you very soon. Thank you. band I go and I kind of like wanted to introduce myself to you and um, tell you a little bit about our story devastation the seeds of hope have come undone fragmentation broken dreams for everyone you know this whole project kind of um, established totally out of the blue we um never really intended to make um like a really a big thing about it sebastian and i got together just hanging out and playing um you know different riffs on the on the guitar and i would kind of like just get into it and um get the vibes of, of his music and of the, you know, of the licks that he came up with. And to be honest, we have such a strong connection with each other that I absolutely got inspired and came up with, you know, different lyrics, different melodies up in my head. And we would just, you know, sit there and try to like tape it on our iPhone. Actually, it was my, my first band uh, back in the 90s. The band was called Avalon. It was a, it was a metal band with a, with a progressive touch. And uh, we had a really exciting, exciting time. At the time, I was young, actually. And, uh, and, and I was really lucky to, to be able to, to share uh, uh, the band with four or five other guys, uh, young guys with a lot of power, with a lot of motivation. Uh, we shared, we had such a, a huge enthusiasm. Uh, we were dreaming of yeah, playing the big stages all around the world. We were dreaming of uh, recording music and, and uh, putting the music out to the world, to all parts of the world. And uh, we had such a, uh, a powerful spirit in the band, uh, which was really incredible. So we, we thought, or we felt, we can conquer the world with our music. had a 
total of 10 songs that we um, put together on a demo and um, we send it out to different musicians, studio musicians, as in the end we um, figured, you know, we have great songs, we have to, you know, nail the songs in the studio. So when uh, Manuela and Sebastian approached me, if I would be interested in uh, playing on their stuff, on that album, uh, I checked it out and it's really, really cool stuff, so I was really into it. And uh, it's been a lot of fun playing drums on all that stuff. And uh, I can't wait uh, for you to hear it. It's really cool. They apparently know my drumming from uh, over the years, so they, uh, they found a way to reach me. From there, it's all history. Hal Bergman listened to our demo and he was like instantly on board with us and um, wanted to play the drums um, on the songs. And then afterwards, we um, connected with Kevin Moore, who, is, um, who has worked with Jennifer Rush and he's one of the greatest um, bass players that I've heard. Hello, I'm Kevin Moore. I'm the bass player for Ivy Gold, and um, as we're doing a bit of promo, introducing ourselves and introducing the project, um, of which I'm quite proud, actually. I got a call from my friends from uh, from Seba and Manu, and uh, heard some music. That was quite interesting. Very organic. Very a lot of fun. Very real, I guess is the word. Not as not much fluff. That's the part I like. Linder. Uh, I play keyboards on this album and I absolutely love recording this. Uh, great songs, uh, everyone on the album are great and um, everybody brought their own individual styles so that's a great thing. Uh, myself, um, I'm into classic rock of course but I'm also into soul music in a big way. I uh, listen a lot to Stevie Wonder, Open and Fire, that kind of thing. Um, and in the rock world, I've been touring a lot with um, Glenn Hughes from Deep Purple. I work with uh, Elliot Randall from Steely Dan. Um, a little bit with Peter Gabriel as well. Um, so quite varied, which I think is good. So enjoy the album. has a lot of potential and it's got some rock and funk and blues and soul and it's very dynamic and really good tunes. They sent me songs not in a finished format because I suggested once I play drums on it they can overdub some other stuff to it which will make more sense. Um, so I have pretty much the songs with their forms and kind of in a demo format and that's where I play drums too. The way I do it, I pretty much write uh, my roadmap, so I don't have to think much while I play drums. I just look at it, I listen, and I always make sure to play for the good of the song. That's my job. I need your love. Give me just
that I have those great guys, the Golden Boys, um, with me here on board because they set the stage for me, um, for my lyrics, for my vocals. Um, so I can basically, yeah, the way I write my songs and my, my music is, um, I consider myself a, um, a storyteller and I write about, um, I guess I write about my own personal um, life experiences, um, things that I have gone through and I'm sure that you guys have gone through, you know, many of those things as well and I just like to dig in very deep um, with the music and with the lyrics and um, yeah, tell you a story and a kind of make you, yeah, I, I want you to kind of like step into my world. You know I'm trying. I feel so honored to be in this band with this, with this great musicians. We have great songs. And a little bit, I feel the same energy I felt uh, back in the 90s, 80s, 90s. Uh, when you feel strong, if you have the, the great songs, uh, if you feel good within the band. So this positive energy is, is back. And my goal for, for, for doing music is to, to share this energy with you, with the world. And uh, that's why we... That's why I'm doing music these days. format it's a little bit more digestible for most people rock blues kind of groove oriented stuff nice bunch of musicians I'm, I'm quite happy to uh, to be doing this um, it's very digestible like I said a lot of fun you won't be able to sit well, my studio, as you can see, it's called Tal Bergman Studios. It's a very good name. And uh, it's a very famous room. It used to be called Lion Share, where anybody from the Michael Jackson, you can name it, has recorded in this room. So it's a very, uh, it's an amazing room, which is where I usually record, I would say, 90% of the records that I do. I do it in my studio. Yeah, We Are The World was uh, written and, uh, and uh, recorded here. The vocals were recorded somewhere else, the, but all the track and the writing was done here, right in the corner. You know, and, uh, and like Quincy Jones used to work here all the time, and Alberto Gatica, which is next door to me, which I still do records for, and uh, a lot of people. Of yesterday, you really made a mess of me. With your two faces, we have some great music for you. We, we're dying for you to hear it, so you should get on out here and celebrate it with us. And we will welcome you. You will be able to stand still. <laughs> what the album is out yeah and you know the great thing that happened afterwards 
and even before we get such great press feedback it is amazing we are absolutely blown away please like and follow us we really appreciate it and you know times for musicians aren't especially great these days but we figured now is the time for us To our motto out of the blue for you people out there listening to our stuff we really want to contribute to a better world a better place through our music so we really hope you come on board with us you join us you follow us you like our music you listen to our music and come to our shows as soon as we hit the road so yeah we just really want to spread love, passion for music, good energy, and give something back to the world. Thanks for, you know, thanks for everything. <laughs>